Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of the Portiverse Workbench. In this episode, we were doing things a little bit differently, as in this episode, we'll be covering two characters in one instance. And these characters are also exclusive to the Railway series. Here are my models of Pip and Emma. Pip and Emma were created by Christopher Audrey in 1987, and they are based on the Inner City 125 class. And these two characters will appear frequently in the Railway series, usually delivering an important visitor from the mainland. And they will be purchased by the Northwestern Railway in 2011, and officially replace Gordon as the primary express engines. This is a backstory that I actually really like. It's pretty neat. And the base is also perfect in my opinion. So before we go into how I built the models, let's dive into the Portiverse backstory of Pip and Emma, the high speed engines. In 1975, Pip and Emma will emerge from the works as some of the first inner city 125s ever built. They will be seen working in various regions across the UK under British Railway's ownership. They will first travel to Sodor in 1987. From then on, they will make semi frequent visits to the island and befriend some of the engines that live there. Eventually, in 2011, following their withdrawals in service, the Northwestern Railway will purchase them for express services. This also be when Gordon was retired from the Express after a nearly 90 year long career. What a champ. And with their new lives ahead of them, Pip and Emma will be repainted. The British Railway's blue livery that they wore for most of their careers was replaced with the more vibrant yet similar Northwestern Railway blue. The yellow of course remained, and at the back instead of a white two-tone livery, the livery will be replaced with a brown shade to match the Northwestern Railway Express coaches. Although Pip and Emma's coaches in particular would keep their inner city characteristics. Pip was number D4 and Emma was number D5. In the present day, Pip and Emma can be seen running the Northwestern Railway's express services across Sodor and beyond. This is what they are most proud of. If I'm being totally honest here, Pip and Emma are probably the Easiest models to make out of my entire collection. They are just simply a Hornby Inner City 125 set repainted into new colors. I took the bodies apart, masked out the parts of the body that I wanted to stay in the original colors, which was the yellow parts in this case, and then I applied a gray acrylic. Following the primer, I then put on a blue acrylic. It's the same blue I used for Thomas and Gordon. This is meant to be the NWR blue in the Portiverse. I made sure to leave the back half of the coaches for the other colors trying to mask the line of the masking tape. After about three coats or so of blue to make sure it was even, I then applied the brown tone. The exact shade being Apple Barrel's chestnut color. This is meant to be a connecting livery with the coaches to make it match. Then came a gray shade for the roofing to make it a nice vibrant color. And then silver sharpie for the handrails. Next, I wrote the lettering. D4 for Pip and D5 for Emma. The tools I would use would just be simply toothpicks and white paint. After making the rough outlines, with the white, I would then use a different toothpick with blue paint to adjust it after it was dry to make sure it was nice and neat and legible. After doing back and forth between the blue and white paint to make sure it was just perfect, I would then apply a matte clear coat to the body just to protect it from any like damage over time and also unify all the paint. And then I of course reassemble the body and boom was done. All the progress photos are mostly of Pip and the coach, but just take that process and rinse and repeat for the coach and Emma. Speaking of the coach, the coach was arguably the easiest out of the whole bunch. I simply just took the body apart and painted everything in the colors. I was going to add a yellow pinstripe, kind of like the Railway Series coaches, but I figured that'd be really hard to do and I feel like it will clash with the plastic gla window glass um, panes that I have in there. And so I just added number ones to the sides to indicate they are first class coaches. This ability like, like separates the Arasa coaches from Pip and Emma's coaches, makes it a little more neat, you know? And this is the only coach in the set currently, but I do want to add more in the distant future. I saw a clean like four to six coaches would be perfect. But that'll be in the very far future. It's not really a priority right now. But yeah, just like that, after all of that process, over and over again, Pip and Emma were officially complete. I am really proud of how these guys turned out. They look so right to me. I feel they fit just right. It's also kind of a rare case. I don't think I've ever seen Pip and Emma being made by someone else before. I mean, someone probably has by this point, but you never know. Oh, and so you models out there, yes, 
You can use his liver if you want to. I'm not gonna, like, be anal about it or be an asshole about it or anything. You can use his livery if you want to if you're pimping out models. It is perfectly fine. And if you're wondering where the D4 and D5 came from, they came from a good friend, Chaotic Caroline. Subscribe to her, she's a good YouTuber. Oh yeah, before you leave, I also want to reveal a new shed I facade I built. Pretty cool. I was also able to add an extra track so I can fit more models on it as well. As it was in a little crowded, now that Pip and Emma are joining. So yeah. <laughs> I may need a shelf eventually. Thank you all very much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next one.